Yes, we are ready. Okay, one, two, three. Welcome to Lava Room. All right. So this video is we're making. So we're making this video so our son Enrique, Enrique, Enrique can see. What is that? What am I doing again? <laughs> You see, this video is where we have to speak a very correct English. It's not good for me. So what are we going to do? Enrique. We're going to be answering Enrique. questions. Enrique. Yeah, Enrique. that's who your dad is. Enrique. Breathe. Enrique, this video is for you. I'm now 36 weeks away to meet you. And this video is what you think your personality will be based on our personality and characteristics. We might be wrong we might be right we might be completely wrong we might be very close very close yeah. but we just want to see maybe we got something right and if not you get to know more about us that's it you see your mom explains things much better i mean well <laughs> but she's very good with explaining things so i separated some questions that we both should answer based on your point He's of view listening. is he yeah based on your point of view and based on my point of view okay all right so hopefully we get our son to have at least a little view of the both of us so i need my glass because lately <laughs> i'm becoming a father so the first question i don't know is always easy okay is if our baby could inherit one quirky trait of yours what would it be so i talk about myself not about you you can let's do that you talk about me and i'll talk about you okay one quirky thing about you is being confused like you were just now so you want him to be like that no i don't want him but i think he could be <laughs> no but i'm gonna say something i want from you okay so what i want speak on the positive side i want him to Okay, say it, say it first. All right. <laughs> I would like him to have this very unique characteristic of yours, which is your left. It was. Wait, but they found the time machine. Like, I know I laugh of things, but you laugh first. It's contagious. That's a great thing. For instance, the video we did the the watermelon. <laughs> Everybody was laughing with you, and that's the first thing that got me into you. It was your laugh, and I feel like if he gets that, I'm gonna have a little view of you and him. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I think if I if I notice him laughing like you, oh I'll be emotional. emotional. Oh, me that's too. So sweet. Yeah. Can you imagine the little Enrique with you your laugh? You just want a, a, a laughing baby. I want him to be laughing all the time, <laughs> okay. laughing about life, laughing about things, and there's so many things. But the first one is this. I want you to be a very happy, laughing baby too. But one characteristic I want you to get from your dad is for you to be funny and make me laugh like your dad does. Okay, fair enough. Next so you one. See, you make the joke and I laugh. We're a good team. I hope so. So he can get both of it. He can right. be funny and the laughing person. If we didn't even start, you're already crying. I'm pregnant. You're getting emotional, yeah. <laughs> This is interesting. If our baby could have a superpower, what would it be and why? Whoa! Oh my god, it's hard for me to think outside the box. So let me start. This is a thing that I hope you also are more like a dad. Like, just think outside the box. Because I'm very down to earth. No, it's not bad. This is great. He can get a little bit of both so he doesn't fly too far. So if I could choose one superpower, would be for you to see through at people. Oh, like learn how to read people but with that i mean coming with a very good heart you can feel like it. and the thing is like i noticed throughout my life is that you don't have that superpower if you don't have a good heart so the thing is if you have a very good heart you're going to attract good people yet have the power of compassion be compassionate i think yeah but i mean like so he don't get hurt right it's good to have that vision where i have right now like i can see through people right away and that's i think is a superpower i can see like even if I treat the person very well, the person's very nice to me, I can see right away if it's a good person or not. I don't get that feeling of like, oh, I wish I knew that before. No, I know right away. So I think I have that superpower. And I want him to get that superpower of reading people that he's going to relate himself to. And the reason is so he doesn't get hurt and no waste time with right. people that don't love him and people that don't want good for him. And also, if he could fly, I always wanted to fly. You know, when I, when I was a kid, <laughs> I wanted to fly. I think we all did. I put the, my cape. And I went all the way up no, the fence. No, you shouldn't do that. The fence, all, yeah, you don't do that, Enrique. No. I went all the way up to the fence on my on my condominium, and 
I just jumped, thought I was gonna fly, and I just <laughs> hit my face okay. to the ground. Very high. Baby, that's not good. I know. But I my did. dad did this with the umbrella. I did the umbrella too. Gonna like, fly like, like a mare popping. Your grandfather did that, and he lost his voice because. He told me. And then he also couldn't tell his mom, your great grandma, because he would get. <laughs> well, so he hid under his bed until his voice came back so that he can move on with the life because if his mom finds out why he's lost his voice it would be even worse can you imagine this is very dangerous don't back do in the that. day we don't fly our parents used to we smack fly us. with we fly with airplanes and helicopters i think one superpower i'm gonna call it superpower because it's not something i have on me all the time but it helped me throughout this pregnancy is to be patient mm -hmm. Patient with people that you know and that you don't know. Complimenting what you're saying. See the good in people, but don't be naive. If you see good in people, you are really good. Like you don't have to worry about other things because you have that power of seeing a different way, different point of view of everyone else. If some person or some people doesn't make you feel good, just stay away. You have the option to choose who you want in your life. And that's, I think that's something your mom and dad does. Yeah, you can turn away from things that doesn't make you good yeah, or happy. Yeah, we keep the people that we like close. And the ones that it doesn't make you feel good, we stay away. Cool. It's it's a freedom of choice. Good. Man. Patience is a good superpower. You see, we went very into the feeling. Oh, okay, so if you go out of the box, teletransport. That's it's me too. better than fly. Like a, you wanted me. to disappear to some, some place you don't want to be, you just bloop. Yeah, I think teletransportation more like that. Like, I want to be in my parents' house in Brazil. That was the oh, time when I met you, like that. and I was calling him from a prepaid phone, and then one time we were talking, and then the, 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 I had no more money, and then our conversation was like, whoop, uh -huh. cut. That was the time when I wanted to be transported to your bedroom, yeah. at your parents' house, yeah. so we can continue to talk. So, do you want your baby to have your taste in music, or mine? I think we, we both have really good taste in music. We're very eclectic. We both like very extreme styles of music. We love to dance. But I know there's some types of music that I like that your dad doesn't <laughs> like my rocks. My rock I, I like them. I just don't know how to sing because they were not something that you I would... don't know how to sing anything <laughs> in the music you like. Your dad sings all songs wrong. Sure. Even the ones that he knows. And it doesn't matter if it's English or We're Portuguese. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be like mom. You're gonna be really specific into the lyrics and we're gonna do good. So I agree with your mom. I think that we have different tastes in music, but yet we both can be in each other's place, world, and enjoy. We're different, but we have the same. Also. Yeah, kind of. We have a lot of same. We have a lot of in common taste, and then there's some other things that actually everything you like, I like. I think you some, like. I like. Some, I'm not a big fan, but I like. The thing is, your dad goes much more about the voice and the music itself, and sometimes I go much more about the lyrics. Very true. So maybe the singer is not super have this very powerful and beautiful voice, no. but the lyrics means a lot, so I get connected with that singer. Very true. You know, the other day we just realized that I don't listen to the music different than me. When we're dancing, you're gonna see so many videos of your mom and your dad dancing, you have no idea. Don't be embarrassed by it. We, we love to dance, <laughs> so you, you know that already. You're already dancing. You've been dancing with us here. Yes. Whenever you watch this, this is you here, and we dance a lot. And you're dancing in my valley just now. You, you're moving. Yes. You kick all the time. <laughs> so what happened is, Anna, listen to the song in a different way. Like the rhythm of the music, she listens differently than I do. And I think that's the big difference between us with dance or with music style, because I'm moved by the rhythm and by the feeling that I get from the music. And I can read if it's a happy, sad, motivational. So I'm more like into the, the emotion on the, in, the, in the song. You are more into the lyrics and everything. So. I'm not more into the lyrics, but, but you pay I, attention to it. I pay attention. I really pay attention to it. So sometimes the rhythm is good, but the lyrics it's really bad and Juno's like let's do some dance with this music I'm like no you know what happened to me terrible. I listen to the music sometimes I know songs sometimes I listen to the music and I'm already thinking about how we're gonna be dancing to that how we're gonna where we're gonna be doing it what's gonna be happening or when I think about the music I'm bringing back bring back memory from my father or from my grandma or it's always related to something so my head is because of going the everywhere sound, because of the yeah. instrument and the pace of the rhythm but at the same time, you show me a musical, let's dance about this, and then the music is saying something, you think it's a romantic thing, and it's saying something about... It's a breakup. 
Yeah, I'm like, there's, why? Why would you? There's a romantic. It's about a break. We're not breaking up, so. That's too much information for you. You're probably watching this. You're three or four years old. So later on, you understand because you're gonna be. I don't think four. Yeah, we'll see. later, later. What's the one baby outfit you can't wait to dress our little one in? Oh man, that's so many cute outfits that you got. I would say maybe the Brazilian. How do they call that jersey? The, the jersey, yeah. I thought of that too, but uh -huh. since you said that. He got a tuxedo. <laughs> I have no idea with suspenders, little bow tie, and the shoes. I can't wait to see him on that. Yeah. But I, I want to see him on the jersey and everything. Yeah. And, and we're going to have the World Cup. Probably he's going to be, what, oh two or three years old? Yeah. The, we have to buy a new one because those are babies. Those are baby, yeah. babies. Babies. So, what's your strategy for getting our baby to sleep through the night? My strategy? Yeah. I have none so far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been listening to many audiobooks. Right. Way too many, actually, and but I try. I'm trying to find the common place for on all of it. You know, I I probably listen to three audiobooks from three different author authors. Authors, 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 and authors. Authors, authors, write in the comments. From three different people, <laughs> there are common places that I can see. There are also some different point of views. Yeah. So I have an idea, but Dad didn't didn't listen anything so far. So no. I think I'm gonna have to make my decision and teach him. I already know. You don't know. Of course I do. I'm gonna do like my grandma and my mom did. I'm gonna dance with him no. and then he's gonna be like very relaxed and I'm gonna put no, him to bed. You see, that's bad. I'm gonna tell you right Look now. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him... Okay, so just imagine. No, no, no. This is serious conversation. It's not about the rocking. Rocking is okay. okay. Unless you hold him until he wakes up again. No, I'm gonna put him to bed as soon as he sleeps. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to me. I've been studying this. Imagine you go to bed and you're cup in your neighbor's bedroom. You don't understand right. how that happened because you slept so good in your bed and in your bedroom and then you wake up somewhere else mm -hmm. with no, you know, that's very confusing. Right. So if you were to do this for nap times, then yes, because then he can wake up on you, still fine. Mm -hmm. But to rock him and then wait for him to sleep to put him there, of course he's gonna wake up and be crying because right. he doesn't understand how that happened. He's not used to that place, right? Yeah. So we have we have to try and it's easier to say than done, we're gonna see, but I know you're gonna be good. You're a very good baby, you slept through the night very easily. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna try to make it a night routine. Right. So then when he shows signs of being tired and sleepy, we put him there, but we don't leave him there because that's also conflicts. Uh, right. We don't we'll know. Do we're gonna be there, but he's already in his basement, and we're gonna move him and talk to him and sing to him right. until he falls asleep. Then we're but he's already in the basement, and he won't gonna wake up there. Of course, he probably will cry for a little bit, but we go back and we say, Shh, it's okay, it's all good with the white noise and everything. And that makes so much sense to me. I, I, I don't know. It's about teaching you <laughs> to sleep you see, on your own. That's what we had to do in order for you to learn how to sleep good like you do right now. <laughs> good yes. job, mom and dad. I know, I know you're a very good sleeper. We're gonna do everything, talking about this moment, but for you, we did everything for you. Whenever your baby talks, what's the first thing you want him to say? Dada! Mama. <laughs> it's gonna be Dada Actually, first. It's gonna be Julie. Oh, and we say Julie. You know what's gonna first. be? It's gonna be Papa. It's not Dada, it's Papa. Papa. Yeah. Mama. I think Papa is easier than. No, it's not easier. Mama. It's because it's the, the bond. Papa. Maybe he say woof woof. Because <laughs> Julie will be the first one to That'll be fun, that. baby. If our baby could have a pet besides Julie, what would it be? I always want one. I know, I know what he's gonna say. Say it. A monkey. A monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I would Julie. love a little monkey. Oh man. Just to stay here on my shoulder like eating the banana. But now he's gonna have your different. Nikki. He's gonna be my little monkey. Yes. Always here for me. Oh, you already have a nickname. Uh-oh. How about you? I already have dad. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> she's good at she's I, good with animals. My hands are full. Alright, so okay. <laughs> What's the funniest baby gadget or product you've seen that you secretly want to buy? Oh, I actually still don't know much about the gadgets or product that I need. I'm still learning and I know it's like I should be by now cover on that and I think I am cover. There are certain things that I have that we have that I still have to learn how to use. We still don't know how to use it, yeah. I don't think I have anything that I wanted and I don't have. 
have? For me, I feel like it's there are so many things we went to the expo. Yeah. But the things that I would like to buy for him, I think will start to happen once I have him with us. I think one thing that you want to have, but this is one piece later. You like the the waist belt? belt. That's like also a carrier. A carrier. Oh, we like that. Yeah, but that's that's when you're already sitting, so it's for later on. So I think later on, once you're born, we're gonna start to. Then I'm gonna be like a, a little kid. I'm gonna want it to buy everything. We have the rep. We have the rep. That's that's that's, 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 nice. a, yeah. that's one thing you you also wanna want have. Yeah. Always want it. yeah, I think we got everything. There's no secret. We wanna buy everything that we see or get everything that we want. Not that we wanna buy everything we see. Not that you every, need everything. But everything we wanted to have, yeah. we have it. What's your go-to silly face or dance move to make your baby laugh? <laughs> and the dance, of course, will be many dances. <laughs> yeah, and you know what I like to do too? Yeah, they're gonna be laughing. I'm very scared of you. I like to do this too in the belly. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you have to shake for that. Oh, for sure. You're gonna hurt his belly. I'm sorry. Seriously, if you're gonna do that, his belly's gonna no, be very look, bad. He's not gonna be. This is gonna happen when he's like, what, five months, six months? Baby, you're not gonna wait until five months for that. How is your belly right now? Do you have any shoes? Good. If your dad does this to you, I'm gonna promise you he's gonna be shaved. Yeah. I will. No, I'll be careful with that for sure. I don't know. I think one thing kids love is peekaboo. Oh, that's good. One. Right? Yeah. Or or maybe even cover your face. Peekaboo! Katerina in the boy! I wish you could do ye! I think usually babies like that. I think you're a monster. If that doesn't laughing. work, I'll just get Julie. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think you're gonna be laughing no matter what of anything that he does, so he's gonna be entertained by your laugh. What's the weirdest baby advice you've received that you definitely won't be following? I have one. Oh, if your baby starts crying, you have to let your baby cry and close the door and let him sleep. He falls asleep. What? No, that's not gonna happen. My dad did this with me. Not following any advice just because he was tired of fear of me crying. Well, but for but his defense, for his defense, <laughs> she was a, a crying baby, like that? she would never stop crying. Why you don't let me finish? Because I love your father. Your love your he did that, and I still was a crybaby. So if that would work, I would be better, but no, maybe that is no solution. That is just a solution for you to not a hear relief. it. But I but I'm saying like I love her father because I don't want to put myself in the situation I was before. I got very mad when I heard that story. <laughs> so I was a baby and I was crying and I only stayed with my mom. And my grandma, my, my dad's mom was there and my, my dad and they couldn't figure out. They undressed me and they say, oh, maybe it's something, maybe it's a, a nail on her clothes, a tag bothering her, anything. They couldn't find anything. I was no fever, nothing. And my dad got tired of it because I just couldn't stop crying. And I was a baby still, like not even a year old. And he put me on the, on the crib and he closed the door. And my mom even told the story that he locked the door. And no, I'm not sure if that's true or not. When my mom got home, she found me. On the on the crib, like with the crib uh, cover, like all undone, and I was all sweaty from crying, like all like <laughs> you know, I probably move a lot. <laughs> I don't remember this. I, I'm not traumatized by it. I am. <laughs> I was very very sad to hear that story, and that's yeah. something that I hear from some parents. Like it's normal to let the kid. Of course, the kids cry, but like to not put them to sleep crying. That's no, not there, gonna happen there, there is a is a process. Like at center point, it's like a, we're saying we have there's different trainings, sleep trainings, and everything. But it, it doesn't need to be dramatic right away or very radical. Maybe let it cry for one minute and then go and you know and you then see? you you a little bit add up. But that's for when they are older. From newborns, no newborns doesn't understand they're born into they do. So you see, Enrique, we are already thinking about everything from now on you're not even here with us in our arms you're here in the belly and yet we're still trying to figure out how we're gonna handle you i think we just did great i think we did great you're, you're such a kid. good boy you're a very good boy you're so lovable and I so mean, sweet you, yeah you, we are very proud of you and very intelligent just like that and very smart and and mom like yeah it's all right i guess that's it so one last thing i want to finish with is if you can find something in me that you would like to see in your son and I can find something in you that I can see that I would love to see in my son. Dream, dream big, dream huge. Go out of the box, be like your dad. Like just don't don't be fearful of dream. 
I feel like if you have, how are you gonna say that? Like you are into your own world. You don't care about what others think. You do you. We're good. Yeah. We're gonna be good. And you're amazing, Yankee. We love you. Yeah, we love you. We love you so, 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 so much. You get a little bit of mom, a little bit of me, and we put it all together, and now you're here. And then we'll see that very soon. It's a good mix. Yeah. It works. It's a good, very good team. And she's very good. What I meant with you do you is that you do you, do you of course, but you do protect your whole thing. Like, and I'm included to that, and he's included to that. And you don't care about anything but us. Sometimes I feel like I wish I was a half of that. It's a bubble. That's my superpower. I put ourselves in a bubble. I would be. When we need to be inside the bubble. So thankful if I was at least half of what you are with, with, with caring and doing things and the way you focus 100% on him. And you do everything on your own time. You're like preparing everything. You're like nothing bothers you from outside. And he is your number one thing. Yet Julie is your number one. Yet I am your number one. And I don't know how you do that. Because I have best around me. No, I think it's you. That's, that's why it's important to see. That's why it's important to keep the people you like close. And choose the people you want to be around. And the pet. She's a very good pet. She's yeah, gonna be a very good big sister for you. Alright. So wait. I know you guys have been waiting for it. <laughs> Let's go check it out his nursery. Our. Before you watch his nursery, we want to say that we're sharing our bedroom with him. So if you don't know, Enrique, now we live in this beautiful home. You're older, you love your house, your home. But before, mom and dad used to live in a one-bedroom apartment and we had to share our room with you. Which is this apartment, yes. This house we're in, this is where you were born. And we were very proud of this place. We really dreamed about living in this place. Yet you lived here for so little. But we did your nursery. We create your little space in our room with a lot of love and... And now the room is much more yours than ours. It's, I mean, since you got here, everything was about you, you know? Yeah. So, let's go check it out our room. I mean, your room. <laughs> Okay, so this I brought from our baby shower. It was the top of the cake. This we're gonna have his feet and his hand with the cast. This is in his photograph, of course, but this is for after he's born, obviously. Same thing here. We're gonna have a picture when he was born with his name, weight, length, and date of birth. This is also from our baby shower. Remember the sign? Yeah, baby I remember baby. that. Yeah. This is for when he's older, so I just put it as a decoration for now. <laughs> this is a friend of ours engraved his name in the in the year of this. It's also for older like this music. The soccer ball we mentioned. This is his changing table. We have pads that I already washed, but I'm i am just put it here for now so you can see some books he got so many books I'm so excited to talk about it this is a warmer for the um, baby wipes but I only have to put it on when we have to actually use it every day otherwise it makes the wipes dry dry yeah that's what I thought. so it needs to be when it's actually active then here the creams the body lotion things for a diaper hash perfume all the way from Brazil. Remember this one? <laughs> we talk about that. Oh, this is a cool one. You wanna see it? What's the other one? Oh, it's a light night. So I learned that red light keeps the baby still asleep. It doesn't wake him up. So whenever we have to change during the night, everything will, the, all the lights will be off and we, we turn that uh, red light so he doesn't 
It's a mood light. Like. In here, I already washed all his clothes that we got. This is some diapers, the first diapers that we're gonna use. Newborn in size one. This is like things like to clean, thermometers, remedies, uh, face towels, things like that. Socks and gloves. <laughs> a lot of socks. He has so many. He has so many. Okay. In here, I separate, since this is all ours, he doesn't have his mom yet, I put all his clothes in drawers. So this is from zero to three months, approximately. This is like from three to six, six to nine months. Those are actually nine months and up. So it's in the last drawer because we probably won't be here when he's, I mean, unless he's a very big baby, which he will be, maybe he will use some of it. Right. Um, those are things for him to sleep, you know, has so many of those too. And in here are the things for the bass net, like the snuggles and um, things for swaddles, you know, so we can swaddle him. Hats, some hats, there he's here. And yeah, and sacks, sleep sacks. Oh, that's the... This is ex expandable thing, so we can do like this, like this. I bought this diaper trash because it doesn't keep the smell right. out. Mm -hmm. This our neighbors let us use for the beginning. And in here I have the humidifier, <laughs> nightlight with the white noise, um, more books, and then those drawers are various different things, like the things that we're gonna use when he hits for pictures and uh, things for shower, feeding, that's for later. Oh, we have that because our fire alarm goes off quite a lot. Right. So this is good for him to keep him without listening to the fire alarm. Oh, this is more for me. It's like um, this are smoothie for lactation that I got some pomades for the breast, like this is more for mama. Storage bags, new storage bags. And I think this is also for mama, like the, there's some babes there, but there are also pumps mm -hmm. for breast milk. More books that we got. This is our bilingual, bilingual books <laughs> that we got. This is the album that I'm gonna still have to do with the pictures of the people, of our family and friends that came to the baby shower and the messages, this is gonna be the album. This is the album, um, As You Grow. Mm -hmm. And this is also from, we got from one of you with Enrique's name right. in the ear. And then there's the little Simba over there. Yeah, this is from the Broadway show. Baby Simba. The Lion King. Lion King. <sighs> and this is Mama, and this is you. Yeah. And this is it for today. We hope you liked this video. If you did, comment down below, like this video, share with friends and family, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. See you next time. And Hiki, we're ready. You can come now. I'm waiting for you. Come in. <laughs>